What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ray UGA here on the 31st day of December 2020. We are now on the last half day of the year. We have, what is it, I think 10 hours left of 2020. So anyways, first of all, I just want to say I wish and I hope everyone has a happy and most importantly safe new year. Don't do anything stupid. Wear your mask. Be safe around fireworks. And do not drink and drive. Don't get a DUI this weekend. Because between now and through the weekend, there will be over 5,000 DUIs in the United States. So, listen, the reason I'm doing this video today is because it is the last day of the year. I wanted to do a reflection, a 2020 reflection. And I'm not going to go through every itty bitty detail of 2020. I'm not going to go through every week and month of the year. But I'm going to highlight some of the stuff I went through and what I dealt with and how I dealt with it. Okay. So first of all, going back to January, um, I started the year off on a down note and I don't want to say I was depressed. I've never been clinically diagnosed with depression, but I was down. Um, you know, maybe some of you guys have felt this way where you just don't feel like doing anything. You don't feel like moving. You lose your drive, you lose your motivation, you lose your energy, and most importantly, you lose your passion. And, you know, it was right after Kobe Bryant died on the 26th day of January. I looked at myself in the mirror and I asked myself, what the hell am I doing? And I knew what I was doing. I was making poor choices, but I would always kind of shrug it off like, eh, yeah, I'm getting fat, but I'll worry about it later. Or I'll quit drinking on Monday and then Monday would roll around and I'm back in the store buying a 12 pack of beer. So we all had struggles. We all had battles this year. I think everyone had some kind of battle, right? We all go through something. Mine was alcoholism. Uh, and mine was really just health, fitness, and nutrition, trying to get those three back into my life. And it was a battle. It was a daily battle for me. I kid you not. <clears throat> you know, how much should I drink today? Or should I drink today or tomorrow? Should I go on a two-mile run or should I sit inside drinking beer? It sounds really silly, but this is actually what I went through. And... Um, We were getting a call there. I apologize. Um, but yeah, 2020 was rough. You know, like I said, after Kobe died, I had to really look at myself. What the hell is going on? Why am I fat? I'm fat because of my own poor choices. And you got to identify your problems. You have to assess your problems. And then you got to find a solution to fix the problems. And, you know... April and May were good months for me. I did really good in the spring. April and May, I lost a lot of weight. And then I started to go back to my old ways come summertime. And, uh, but it could always be worse, right? You know, it is as bad as things may seem at times, it could always be much worse. I'm incredibly blessed and fortunate for what I do have. Okay, I have a tremendous loving, uh, and caring family that's always had my back, always been there for me. And, uh, we did very, very well financially this year. I mean, there's people out there, guys that have lost family members to COVID. They've lost jobs. Some people have lost everything. And, you know, my problems were just gaining weight, you know, health, fitness, and nutrition. And like I said, your problems may seem super bad in the moment, but you will prevail. You will come out on top. Stay focused, stay motivated, and just keep pushing ahead. You will get through this. 2020 was, 
I, I got to say, I, I believe everyone in some aspect struggled this year in some way, okay? <clears throat> and I think for me especially, you know, I'm like a perfectionist. I, I want to be perfect at everything. I hate being average. I hate the idea of even being average. It doesn't sit well with me at all. And I'm not sitting here saying I'm perfect because I'm far from perfect. But what I'm saying is my mindset is telling me to be as perfect as possible. So when I was sitting on my bed in February, fat as hell, you know, I just... I knew the only one that was going to get me out of this situation was myself. And believe me, when I was 285 pounds, I mean, there was one morning I woke up, I couldn't breathe. I mean, my chest was tight. It felt like a concrete block was just crushing my chest. I got up real quick. I was like, what the heck? I can't breathe. I got up real quick. Acid reflux came up my stomach to my freaking throat. Almost dialed 911. Luckily, I dropped the phone. That was the moment I realized, oh my gosh. Not only am I fat now, I could actually die from this. And it wasn't just alcohol. It was eating. It was nutrition. I mean, I was eating Hot Pockets. Not Hot Pockets. I was eating pizza rolls. And I'm talking like sometimes two or three plates a day of pizza rolls. Just just stupid stuff. You know? Like, it sounds so silly right now, but that's what I was doing. And like I said, I identified the problem. I assessed the problem. I found a solution to fix the problem. But anyways, my name is Ray UGA. I hope you guys enjoyed that reflection. 2021 will be much better. Go dogs, go SEC. God bless and the best for last. Rise above hate before hate rises above you.